Let's start the club again. Come on, let's get up. Raise the roof of your next act, AJ Lamar! Thank you so much. I'll move this out of the way in case you can't see me behind it. Um, how are we going, everybody? Oh, come on, I'm gay. We can do better than that. How are we going? Beautiful. Thank you for coming out. Is what I wish my father would have said. It's a bit awkward. We saved some seats for him. I think we can let them go, guys. I, um... <sighs> my mother's lovely, though. My mother's lovely. She's, she's one of those over-supportive mothers. She actually rang me up a couple of weeks ago, and she was like, AJ, beware, there's been a homophobic attack. I was like, where? She was replied, Uganda. <laughs> For anyone traveling home to Uganda tonight, please stay safe. Um, I consider myself a bit of a heterosexual tourist. Um, sometimes I go to Lowe's just to see how the other half lives. <laughs> yeah. I watch heterosexual sex like a horror film, just like, <laughs> <laughs> Will they ever fix the printer? I, I, I'm confused by the morning after pill. Um, can straight people only have sex at night? Is this a thing? Uh, <laughs> do the walls of the vagina only open between 6 to 12 p.m.? <laughs> a small window of opportunity, pun intended. Uh, if anybody does know, please tell me after the gig. I tried to Google vagina opening times and I got some very interesting websites. Um, but no, I am also aware that I look like your high school arts teacher fucked Prince. Um, it's intentional. Um, it's because I'm mixed race. Anyone else mixed race here tonight? Yeah? Oh, wow, there's so many. Usually there's no one and I'm like, hello. <laughs> hello, friends, you're my favorite, which technically isn't racist. Um, but uh, if you don't know what being mixed race means, it means that you can place me anywhere along the equator and I'll blend in. <laughs> yeah, like an ethnic Where's Wally. <laughs> where's Waleed? <laughs> <laughs> right here! <laughs> no, just a bit about my background though. To be, I, I, I'm very mixed race. So I'm Jamaican, Chinese, Latino, Indian, South African, French, Spanish and English. <laughs> I know! Yeah, give it, give it a round of applause for that. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't do anything, but uh, thank you kindly. Uh, I did have to turn down the job of UN recently. Um, I had a few things on. But if you're wondering, how does all that happen? Colonialism? Uh, sounds a bit true. But I am very passionate about honouring my white and my culturally diverse backgrounds. That's why I search my own bags at security. Uh, bit of dark humour there. Uh, or as my family call it, humour. Um, but I am very interested, though, in what parts of my personality and, and how I navigate life um, integrates with my cultural background. And I think one of the very Anglo things I do, the kind of like white British things I do, is overly polite. I'll do anything to be considered polite and not rude. Are people like that here? Few, yeah. So I think the pinnacle of this is a couple of years ago, I was in an Uber. And for the context of the story, you need to know that I used to be a drag queen. Um, I know, you're like, he's too rugged. Um, and like, I was fairly passable as a woman. Like, from a distance, you could be like, oh, Jessica Malboy's had a rough year. Um, but enough. And so I, I'm in this Uber at night on my way to a gig, and this Uber driver starts a small talk, and he's like, why are you not at home with your husband tonight? Oh, I know, right? And in that situation, what I consider a normal person thing to do would be like, that's uh, a really problematic question. I'm actually a man in drag. Uh, please pull over, I'm gonna get a different Uber. That's, that's a reasonable thing. I'm too over polite to do that. So what I said was, we've had an argument. <laughs> and for the next 10 minutes of this journey, I realized the bounds of my internal misogyny have no bounds. I'm complaining that my husband is never home with me. He's always staying late at the bank. I have to raise the two kids by myself, Judy and Dench. I'm arguing with the stepmother about what cleaning products I should supply, I should buy. 
Coles is expensive. When did eggs become that expensive? Will I ever get an orgasm? That's not because of lovehoney.com. And so we get to the end of this journey and we've had a bit of a bonding time now. And I go to leave and the car door opens and the light comes on. And the facade of my terrible foundation appears to this driver who's looking at me intensely. And I'm looking at him like a queer in headlights. <laughs> thinking I can't die in the back of a Subaru. <laughs> and he looks at me and he just says, if I was your husband, I'd stay back at the bank too. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I've been AJ Lamarck. Thank you for having me. Mwah! Is my mic on? No!